Hello, welcome back. Well, saving what they hope is the best or last, the SNP leader, John Swinney, there he is, that guy there on our screen, finally launched his party's manifesto today. Now, as we have on the Politics Hub with all the main parties, the team has been going through the document, picking out the key points to save you the time and the trouble. So we can take a look at what they say in the manifesto. Right, as you'd expect, right there at the top, deliver Scottish independence. No surprise that that is the headline pledge. Lots of their other pledges about a more devolved Scotland as well. They want to rejoin the EU. They also want to change the voting system. They want to replace first past the post with a single transferable vote there as well. Let's talk about tax because the SNP want to see a full devolution of tax powers to Scotland. They want to maintain the triple lock on pensions. They also want a lower rate of VAT for the hospitality sector and for tourism as well. Another key pe pledge for the SNP, they want to scrap the two-child benefit cap, of course, controversial, uh, in England with both uh, Labour and the Conservatives saying that they can't afford to do that now. They also want to increase maternity pay and maternity leave to one year and also demand the UK government increases shared parental leave as well. Plus, they want to decriminalise drugs for personal use as well. Right, let's look at the next uh, slide, shall we? Health, a huge issue for this election. They want a new bill to protect the NHS from privatisation. Uh, they also want to boost NHS spending by a minimum of £10 billion extra every single year. And they also want to say to the, for the UK government to match Scotland's NHS pay deals in NHS England as well. Let's look at immigration too, because the SNP are much more accepting of higher immigration levels than other countries parties in the UK. So they want to devolve powers to create a migration system for Scotland. They want to scrap the Rwanda scheme, saying it's morally repugnant. And they also say that they want to reverse moves to stop overseas care workers bringing their dependents as well. Foreign policy next. So the SNP say that they want to demand an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. They also want to restore the foreign aid budget to 0.7% of uh, GDP. And they want to strap Trident, that's a nuclear deterrent, and spend that money on public services. Well, my colleague Tamara Cohen was in Edinburgh for the launch. <laughs> 